Hi, right, how's everybody doing today? Um, I got uh, this off of eBay, and uh, it was a break. It's called a break a lot underscore zero, and it's on eBay. Yeah, his name is Jim Smith, and uh, when I got this, uh, it looked like a, the way that the way the listing was. It was uh, twelve solo uh, solo packs, uh, the Masonic. Uh, basketball of 2020 and when i bid on it uh well we were bidding on it it was more than one person but uh they um ended up it ended up being a break and uh the break ended up costing 210 dollars and then uh i was like whoa that's crazy because i thought we were, we we're buying packs of cards but it, we didn't so the guy did refund me my money and uh he did send this out to us so we're gonna see what's in it and uh seems like a nice guy I actually talked spoke to him on the phone so it was like you know he we did speak on you know on the phone and stuff so he you know was trying to do good business so we're going to see what he sent me for uh this this actually came out to be over seventy dollars for this break and uh i know i could have gone to missouri cards and at the time i didn't even know that it was a break i thought i was actually buying uh, packs of cards and this is before everything blew all up and is so expensive so i was like okay well 12 packs of uh, uh mosaic uh, uh cards uh for uh 207 dollars is a good deal you know because you could resell some packs and get your money back or whatever but anyway this is what we what we got here and uh i did win a i did win uh i did see the break because I didn't know it was a break until like a couple days later. And anyway, I saw the break and it did win a Zion Williams rookie card out of that break. But, um, so let's try to get in there. This blue tape thing is holding us back a little bit. Okay, there we go. So I see, I see the Zion in there. So, and these are the cards we won. So, as I was getting ready to say, when I was, uh, when Missouri Cards was doing breaks, it, he was like one of the best people and i think he might still be doing them i'm not sure but he's one of the most honest and uh reputable people on ebay or on uh, youtube to, with breaks and i always got my cards back he always did good business with me and he's a really nice guy i also spoke to him on the phone a, a few times and he's a really nice guy and uh anyway this is what we won for 70 bucks so we got two zions I already had the Zion debut that I pulled uh, from a previous pack, and this card looks like it's in really good condition. It's a little dirt on the top litter, but that's card two number two seventy nine. That's the debut one, so we got that one, and then this is the standard one. And there's a variation of these cards, and everybody's like, "Why are these cards so expensive?" And like, like that. Well, uh, a lot of people don't want you to know this, but the if you look on the break on the breakdown on these cards, and what's actually in these in, in this series, you have LeBron. I mean, you have autographs from uh, huge, huge players. I mean, there's even a Michael Jordan autograph in here, and there's LeBron James and all kinds of uh, superstars and Hall of Fame players. And Ashley just got a really kick-ass card um, from Larry Johnson. Uh, autograph card in um from this series and she didn't pay much for it at all so i am putting the binder together so we do need some you know we need these cards and these are the these are the cards that we won on the break i guess so i guess this is different he gave me the grizzly bear one too because somebody dicked him and didn't pay the guy his money for the break and then look oh man larry bird hall of famer so he he's doing he did good business with me as far as trying to make things right, because he did admit he's like look I didn't mean to put it like that but I look at the listing and it is misleading, and so when you're the point I'm making is so when you're doing these things and you're buying stuff on eBay please read the read the com you know read the descriptions on it because it could cost you a lot of money, and um, these are the standard ones. Because the way they have them listed is it doesn't really, some of them don't say break on it until you get to the description all the way to the bottom. And it looks like it's an actual, that you're actually buying the packs of cards and in reality you're not. You're actually buying a, you're buying a break to win cards. So these are, these are really cool. 
and as I said, you and then you know things uh, on eBay are dirt cheap, so you can put in you know lot if you were looking to buy a bunch of mosaic for your uh for your collection, you could just put in twenty twenty mosaic mosaic uh um basketball and then put lot in there and then you'll be able to to get yourself you know a bunch of them and i just missed one uh i just missed one um auction and it was literally 40 cards with lebron james uh all the top players there's brandon egram too that's pretty badass but new uh pelicans are gonna have they got one hell of a team <laughs> i'm gonna tell you that right now as far as all the players that are on there so yeah, it was uh, LeBron James, um, Luca, whole bunch of USA cards, whole bunch of green cards, pink ones, all that, and it sold for three dollars and fifty cents. And I just missed it. You know, it was like doing something and it got sidetracked and ended up missing the. But this is a green uh, Brandon Egram. It goes with that one too. That's pretty badass. And then. Uh, Jason Hay Hayes, I'm not sure how good he is or not. I uh, from really see, you know, because basketball hasn't really been on because of the thing that's going on. So that's a pink one of those. And then another pink one of those. So all this was 70 bucks, what it boils down to. And uh, I think he did as fair business as possible, you know, considering he uh, admitted that he was like, uh, you know, I made a mistake and didn't you know write it out correctly so we got two zions the debut one and then the, the rookie one so that's pretty close to about 70 bucks right there the way they're selling right now so i'm not really mad about anything i'm just making this video to tell that dude thanks for making it right because i wasn't sure because uh you know i've been doing business with people on the internet and some people are, are don't do good business and some people are trying to do good business and uh the guy that I'm talking about, he's on eBay. His name is uh, it's a uh, break, uh, underscore break a lot underscore zero. So if you're interested in getting in breaks, he is sending stuff out to people. He does keep stuff, you know. I mean, he's kept his word to me. That's all I can say about that. I'm not saying that there's uh, he's only got one bad review or one bad uh, I guess not a bad review, but a bad comment, and I guess. It was over a Drew Bledsoe card, and uh, and I don't, I can't see anybody wanting to make a big stink out of Drew Bledsoe. I can actually buy his autograph rookie cards for probably like three or four bucks. Uh, I mean, know if you're if you're a big fan of uh, if you're a big fan of the um, New England Patriots, then yeah, that would uh, you definitely would like Bledsoe. He was the man for a little while until uh. You know, Tom Brady had to take over for him because Bledsoe couldn't get out of his own way. Unfortunately, Bledsoe had a really strong arm, but he just was not a, a you know, he was not a mobile quarterback, and uh, he didn't have a quick release like most of the other quarterbacks in the you know league did at that point in time. But he could throw a ball easily seventy yards down the field without a without no uh, problem there. But so I just wanted to say thank you to his name's Jim Smith. He's also on. Um, He's also on the um, on Facebook, and as I said, he did good business with me. He refunded me my money, uh, and you know, not all of it because I didn't want him to refund it all because it was not, you know, like it was a mistake. But even though that was a mistake, he did try to make things right with me the best he could. Um, it is expensive to get into breaks uh, for them. The guys, most people that do the breaks actually go out to Walmart or stuff like that and they actually buy the boxes out of pocket and stuff and then they try to make money back by opening up uh, the cards and selling them back doing it that way so um, yeah it's um it's a really hard thing to do um, as far as trying to make a living at that or trying to make extra money at it it's really hard to do that because um, you know hobby boxes have autographs and stuff but the way they're doing retail they have a lot of different things and uh, these USA cards are real popular and um, obviously the Hall of Fames and um, unfortunately I don't think Larry Bird is getting as much love as he possibly as he should be getting in the sport that guy was the greatest uh, one of the greatest sports ever played a game um, more like a shooting guard 
Uh, just uh, anybody that's ever seen him play back in the day, uh, you know, any highlights if you've ever seen this guy. Uh, he, the guy's a game changer, defensive player, uh, you name it, whatever needed to be done, he would do it to get get the job done. And uh, it's just uh, he just doesn't get the love that he, he deserves in the sport, in my opinion. Uh, as far as autographs and stuff are very dirt cheap. Uh, I got quite a few of his autographs. I didn't spend any more than 30 or $40 for some of them. And I even bought a graded uh, Beckett 9.5 auto before for under 50 bucks. And it was a Dominator one. So, anyway, that was a quick video. We, this is what we got off of uh, uh, Break A Lot uh, underscore zero, Jim Smith on eBay. So, I just wanted to say thank you. I said when I got this, I would make a video and let people know that he's doing good business. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I got it first before I did that. And also, you guys can make your own you know, determinations. But when you're buying these cars on the internet, just be careful uh, because the way they're having it, the way that you guys list these breaks, it looks like you're buying packs of cards and you're not. They're not packs of cards, they're actually breaks, and you can end up losing a lot of money. But this guy was actually pretty cool and uh, made things right with me, so I was happy about that. And it was a mistake that a little kid made, so uh, he understood. He understands that too. So um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And there will be more people that I'm going to give shout outs out to uh, on, uh, on eBay when they're doing good business. And I uh, just wanted to say once again, thank you, Mr. Smith, for, uh, you know, doing this for us, sending this out to me and Joshua and for us to put our set together. We appreciate it. And Ashley does, too. So, uh, you know, until next time, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other and just keep doing what you're doing and enjoy life. And um, don't, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that I've started to do to make my life a lot better recent times is stop watching television and stop watching fake news and they'll make your life a lot better so uh just take care and thank you for watching please like and subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll see you next time thanks